I'm good this time. Okay. Hey guys, it's Lily and Jordan. <laughs> and today I'm going to do her makeup because she's ratchet. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So, first, I'm going in with the dual power moisturizer and just moisturizing her face like normal. Also went in with some rose water and she kind of freaked out there for a second, but it was okay. Then went in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and just primed her face and it kind of has a illuminating effect so it looked really good on the base. Then we went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and I did her brows. Then the Kat Von D foundation and just put that all over her face. It was a little bit dark but we made it work and just blended it down her neck so yeah. She was excited that it was full coverage <laughs> and so now I just blend it with an e.l.f foundation brush and then I go over it with a beauty blender just to make sure it's all seamless and the headband was like killing her head so we took it off and I go in with the revolution conceal and define concealer and this is a great brightening concealer and so I just put it under her eyes and then I got a beauty blender and I just blended it all out for that seamless look Then went in with a Fit Me foundation stick from Maybelline and Coconut and just contoured her face with that. Then just blended it all in with that same e.l.f. foundation brush. This is great for blending if you suck at cream contour, so just putting that out there. Then I want to go bake her face with the Fit Me loose setting powder and this is great. If you just need like a really good translucent powder, I just had it in the, I think, fair. And so I just baked with that. Then I just powdered the rest of her face with the remaining that was on the lid. And so then I go in with my Wet n Wild contour palette and just use the contour side, obviously. And just added a little bit more depth to the look because... The cream contour kind of like blended out. It was it it was weird, but but then I just blended it out with an Elf powder brush, and then I used the light powder to set her eyes, so we can go on to eyeshadow. And for the eyeshadow, I used the Tartlet and Bloom palette, and I just first used Sweetheart as a transition shade, shade, and so this is a great palette. I love this palette, and it turned out really pretty. Then I just go in with Rebel, a little mix of Rebel and Leader, just to kind of darken it up a little bit. And then on the inner corner and the outer corner, I mix Activist and Smoke Show and just put those both together and kind of created a halo eye and I'm just blending it out here. Then got those same two colors and kind of just put it in the crease so it all just kind of blend well and nicely together. Then got the Fit Me concealer and just carved out her eye and made it a halo eye. And this is really hard. It's a really hard step to learn, but once you get it, it's easy. Then I just set it with that same powder that I used to set her concealer on her eyes and just set both eyes so that we can move on. And then I just kind of blended the Activist and Smoke Show together just to kind of not make it so intense, the concealer. And this is a really big step when you're doing a halo eye, so it just looks soft and airbrushed. Then I went in with Firecracker just to add a little sparkle, and this just like completely turned the look into like the best. I, I just love this look. It's like a really nice, easy, smoky eye. Then I just wiped away the baking powder so I can get on with the rest of her face. I then put a little bit of Activist and Leader on her lash line just to kind of smoke it out, and this 
really looks good. And then I took Funny Girl and put it in the inner corner to brighten up her eyes. And then I took the Beauty Concepts eyeliner and some tape and put a wing because she told me that she loved eyeliner and that she sucks at it. And so I thought I'd give her a treat and give her a wing. And it turned out really nice and I'm really proud of this wing. <laughs> I then just took the tape off and she wasn't expecting it to like, she didn't know what the tape was going to do. So when she saw that the perfect eyeliner, then she was like amazed. Then I went in with the BTS mascara from Too Faced and just prepped her lashes for the fake eyelashes. And I just got her lower lashes as well because that's very important to me anyway. Then I just go in with the Ardell Wispies and I thought <laughs> she was cracking up because she had to blow them and make sure they were tacky. And so I just applied these like so. Then like I told her to keep her eyes closed so like they wouldn't mess up. And here she is just like jamming out to like Rihanna or something like that. <laughs> And then I just went in with the Becca blush in Songbird and I just put a little bit and this is really natural and I really like this blush. It's really good everyday blush. And then we went in with the Anastasia Sun Dip Glow Kit and we just mixed Summer and Moonstone and she wasn't expecting it to be too blinding and then she looked in the mirror and was overjoyed because she's a glow fanatic and so yeah. I then went in with a sleek major matte lip, liquid lipstick in Regal and just lined her lips first of all because I didn't have a color that was kind of like this to line her lips. So I just got it and mixed it kind of with a darker color and just got a little eyeliner brush and put it on her lips so I could get a good eye outline of them. And then I just made like a line down the middle because that's just, that's just what I do. Don't know why I do it. I'm pretty sure it just makes your lips look bigger. Then I just filled them in with the lipstick. And I don't know why her lips looked this bad. Like it was uneven. But in real life they looked fine. So I guess it's just like one of those camera things. I don't know. It annoyed me. But then she is checking herself out. Then we just kind of brightened up the lip with the NYX Liquid Lingerie and Exotic. And just put that in the middle of her lip to just kind of make them look fuller. Then we took the Polarescent White Charcoal Setting Spray and just set it off. So, yeah, it's the look. So this is the after. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. Do you have anything to <laughs> Peace out. Make song. sure to subscribe, like, and comment how I did on the makeup. And, yeah. Bye, guys. Let me say, boy, let's not talk.